All right, uh, back again. This time, rubbing the cheek. Gotta stop touching my face. Um, okay. Yeah, wanted to do a, a quick video um, about Sigur Ross. Uh, I don't know who out there is into this band. Uh, I've heard a lot of people big up uh, a lot of bands in the past. Um, some that I'm not too not too fond of, but I'd have to say that um, after seeing these guys, wow, wow, is all I could say. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever had the pleasure of seeing Radiohead, um, but I consider it a borderline, if not complete, uh, religious experience. And I'd have to say, you know, in a in a pseudo religious way, um, not an actual, you know. I see God and I'm out of my body. Well, actually, I have been out of my body at uh, Radiohead shows, but that, that again is another story. But I'd have to say that it's the closest thing bordering on a, a, a religious experience to see something like that. I saw Radiohead at Coachella um, a couple of years back. I saw Radiohead at Madison Square Garden when uh, Kid A came out, and that was probably the greatest time I've ever seen them in my life. Uh, just unbelievable, opening up with uh, the national anthem, the first song on Kid A mind-blowing and uh so a couple weeks ago i had the pleasure of seeing sigour ross at the moma yeah at the moma in new york and uh wow it was uh it was wild man it was near perfection i'd say it was basically perfection uh huge uh, i'm not i'm not a religious person but it, it feels like a like a really significant experience something that i think everybody should experience uh, I wasn't, I'm not a huge rabid fan, but I have to say after seeing them live, I now have been converted. Um, the, those guys are just unbelievably talented. They come out with like 12 people on stage, marching bands, orchestras. They play their guitars with violin bows. Um, the guy's voice is unbelievable. There was some debate after the show whether or not he's using uh, some sort of electronic uh, effect or something on his voice. I don't know if anybody knows, but uh, you know, get at me if you do. Um, or if you've seen them, or if you have any uh, stories uh, regarding Sigur Ross, uh, or if you were at the MoMA show, the MoMA show was unbelievable. They, uh, they had a sculpture on stage with them. There was like weird lighting and these balls, these like hanging balls were lighting up behind them. Um, I got some crazy pictures and actually have some videos I should post. Um, but yeah, man, Sigur Ross, I'd have to say, and Radiohead are probably the two greatest uh, live bands I've seen in a long time. And I have to throw Flaming Lips in there too. Uh, I saw Flaming Lips uh, live on my birthday on New Year's Eve, a couple years back at the Garden with Wilco, and Flaming Lips opened up, and I have, they stole that show right out from Wilco because Wilco pretty much put us to sleep. Um, not too much of a Wilco fan anymore, uh, not just because of that show, but in general, uh, the Flaming Lips are just an unbelievable live experience. So, uh, hey, there's there's a video. There's there's my top three live bands that I've seen in the past, uh, you know in the past few years, Radiohead, Sigur Ross, and the Flaming Lips, so go check them out if you guys are into uh, weird, experimental, uh, amazing, unbelievable music that has changed my life. So uh, yeah, check it out. Uh, get at me. Peace.